Well, so every now and then the unthinkable happens. You're driving down the road, going a touch too quick. At the very moment, a police officer on a motorcycle passes you. Your palms sweat, your heart beats, you're polite, you're kind, and you are the proud owner of a new speeding ticket. So what's next? Don Pitt, <laughs> take us through a speeding ticket and how it impacts our insurance. Now, I have to tell you, this might have happened to me. Recently, hypothetically, it might and have I might have asked Andy Justice for advice, and mm -hmm. he might have given me the incorrect advice, and so I would like to prevent other people from experiencing <laughs> a similar scenario. And okay, I, and I got a text after that advice was given, right? Yes. So okay, so let's just be clear that it could have happened different, but well, Megan, you've got, as you well know now, you have four choices when you get a speeding ticket. Okay. Okay. One, you're going to flirt with them and try to get a, a warning, and clearly that didn't work. That's <laughs> so I didn't even try, Don. <laughs> Let me just be straight with you. I didn't even try. Okay. okay. So you get the ticket. Um, you can, of course, the easiest, I guess, is just to go pay it. You right. show up. You write, They'll tell you what the fine is, and you pay it. You're going down the road. So the downside of that, Megan, is that goes on your record. So right. what, how does that really impact your, your auto insurance rate? Well, depending on what company you're with, mm -hmm. um, if they do check your motor vehicle record, mm -hmm. your MVR, and they show that you do have a ticket, um, it can impact your rates. Your rates can go up significantly. Significantly? Significantly. Because a lot of companies now, Megan, give you a discount for like no tickets, no accidents. Right. So it's a great discount. Um, and then if you ruin that, with a ticket, well, then that discount goes away and your rate can go up. So it's kind of a, it can be a double wow. whammy. Yeah. Okay. So that is one option. You can just go pay if you okay. want to. Um, the other option, um, you still go down there, uh -huh. but you choose to take uh, defensive driving. Right. Which you and I talked about. Right. And uh, the, the problem with that is it's a long course. Is I'm, it? I'm just telling you from experience. Okay. It takes, you know, you can do it online now. Mm -hmm. You can do go to different places and they have them, and it's eight hours. Right. Uh, but you still have to pay a portion of the ticket. Oh, no, you pay the ticket. Yes. And then you pay for defensive driving. For the as defensive well. driving. Right. So, cost wise, it's, it's still it's there. There's no way of getting out of the way. There's no okay. way of getting out of the cost of the ticket. Okay. There's really not. So, you can do it online, but it's a time deal. So, okay. they force you to spend eight hours on it, and it's, t you know, it's That's a deal. has that eight hours sure. to sit in front of a computer. So, that's your second option. Okay. Third option uh, is uh, deferred adjudication. Which is? Which is basically you plead guilty or no contest to the uh -huh. ticket. You know, um, you pay the fine. Okay. So you're on probation either for 60 days or 90 days. If you don't get another moving violation within that 60 or 90 day period, that other one just goes away. Okay. okay? Just goes away. But you've already paid it. However, you. If you do get a ticket uh -huh. in that 60 or 90 day period, now you got two tickets. So that's a hot mess. Yeah, it's a hot mess. So you just, you really just don't have an option. You have to be really, really careful. But really, if you really do careful. the defensive driving, then does it, it leaves your record and so it doesn't impact your insurance. Correct. So that's the, yeah. yeah, so back to that. If you have one of those companies. Yeah, and, and you know, and there is a fourth option, you know, as Andy just talked about. If you have an attorney, uh -huh. you know, friend or uh, someone that you keep on retainer, <laughs> if there's whatever, uh, <laughs> they can get you off those tickets as well. So, uh, and again, so through the attorney, the deferred adjudication, if you don't have another oops, you mm -hmm. know, uh, during that probation period, or if you take defense driving, those are no longer on your record. So if you pay the ticket, uh, it's, it is going to go on your record and could adversely affect your auto insurance. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's the moral of the story. You know what the real moral <laughs> of the story is? Pay attention to how quickly you're driving. <laughs> how about that? How about that, you guys? But if you do have a question, give my friend Don Tips a shout. Check him out, dontips.com. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. A little too late. Anyway, coming up next, news and weather headlines. Don't go anywhere.